Hello everyone, welcome to TSAM. My name is Anna. Today I have the pleasure of speaking to Christian Shalino. He's a solutions engineer at Finborn Technology. Welcome, Christian. Perfect. Thanks for having me, Anna. Thank you so much for being with us. Um, so before we begin today, could you maybe provide a quick summary of Finborn for those of you uh, out there who don't know you? Yes, of course. Um, so at Finborn, we offer uh, uh, firms across the investment and capital markets an interoperable approach to data management. Uh, the real aim of uh, the technology we provide is to lower the total cost of ownership from a technology perspective and also increase transparency within your data. Um, our solutions empower uh, essentially investment firms from the small emerging hedge funds all the way to larger um, asset managers. And uh, it's all essentially provided via a um, leveraging SaaS technology essentially and a secure cloud infrastructure. The goal really is to liberate, simplify, connect the data, and ultimately we reduce operational complexity by restoring control and confidence in your data. Thank you very much for that. So following your involvement at TSM London this year, um, your roundtable discussed some of the key data challenges faced by asset managers. Um, so you discussed how firms can leverage um, software as a service technology to harness their investment data to streamline operations and enhance efficiency. Is that correct? Yes, correct. Um, this market engagement with uh, leading asset managers, uh, as manager firms, it really uncovered some uh, data challenges that firms within uh, financial services uh, face today. Um, it's clear that structured, centralized and interoperable data is no longer a luxury really for firms. It's something that is a requirement and with increased regulation, broken processes, uh, new complex data sets, it means that firms are really struggling to trust their data. Um, a common theme that came up through some of the discussions was as well that there is a need for increased um, um, ownership of your data. And that really is something that, you know, we see with people outsourcing a lot of their, um, uh, some of their um, uh, operational um, uh, pieces of their business are struggling with. And um, essentially getting that ownership back is going to uh, increase um, uh, better data-driven decision-making in the future and also spur innovation and growth. So can you give me a few ways that asset managers can respond to and adopt technology innovation? Um, certainly, yes. Um, so one of the key aspects that we've seen again with conversations, you know, the TSAN conference and in general with our clients is that uh, having a centralized and integrated investment data um, uh, platform is important. And that really, again, will help um, a lot of our clients that are struggling with um, um, incumbent legacy systems to aggregate and consolidate data in a way that it is, again, um, usable from an operational perspective. Uh, that really highlights, again, uh, the benefits of having an open cloud native SaaS system that can aggregate and connect uh, and store investment data from various internal and external sources. Um, again, the advantages of having a single source of truth uh, across all of your investment data uh, leads to improved accuracy, easier analysis, and reduced operational complexity. Uh, the type of technology we offer here at Finborn um, allows you again to also lay the foundations for leveraging things like artificial intelligence and as a result, increase automation and enhance decision making uh, and improve efficiency. One of the big battles really with um, um, op operationalizing something like an artificial intelligence pipeline is uh, getting the, the foundations of that you know, data uh, correct and having it in a structured form so you can then operationalize that. A couple of the other things that we've seen you know, clients talk about a lot is you know, implementing advanced data analytics and carrying real-time monitoring. Um, Within the platform we offer in Lucid, again, uh, we can uh, offer um, uh, by temporality and data lineage across your data. So you have an audit trail and also um, the by temporality bit allows you to essentially see what the data looked like after you've made corrections. So you can always kind of roll back the clock and having that, you know, ability to go back in history uh, can give you then uh, 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 a key advantage in analyzing trends, uh, you know, optimizing um, uh, portfolios and finding, um, again, um, you know, trends that lead to uh, value generation uh, from a performance perspective. Uh, finally, uh, we've also talked a lot about, you know, carrying out real-time monitoring and alerting. So um, moving away from sort of traditional batch-based processes, uh, which today, you know, with today's technology, technology should not be, you know, uh, uh, the sort of status quo. Uh, you're able to capture issues and problems with your data and your business operations in real time, uh, and then offering uh, a notification service around that allows you to capture those in real time. So you don't have to then have these long elongated processes end of month where you start sort of 
uh, coming up with uh, reconciliations of your books and, and then you don't really know where the problems really initiated. So capturing them at the source uh, with sort of cloud native and, and real time technology is really key, I think, for any f a firm within financial services today. Thank you so much, Christian, for sharing all this wonderful insight with us. We look forward to having you with us again very soon. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you.